What is this polar vortex? How did it get here? How long is it going to stay? Joining us now via Skype, New Jersey State climatologist David Robinson. David, welcome back to the program. Uh, the weather, I think you've, you've said the word uh, is crazy, which is a good word to describe our weather. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, it's certainly been a very volatile pattern going back to Thanksgiving, in and out of storms, cold, record heat. Um, it, it's been quite a wide variety of weather. And what we're experiencing right now is just a very amplified polar jet stream. Um, it's risen to our north and we've been mild. It's dipped down to our south and it's allowing polar air to come in. Some of the coldest air on the planet has been coming out of the Arctic across Canada and the northern U.S. We don't know exactly why in, in, when you bring it back to the very basics it's happening. But we certainly saw it coming uh, and gave some time to be prepared. You know, I've heard about Canadian highs. I've heard about polar air masses. But this polar vortex, is that, is that pretty much the same thing or is this something a little different? No, it, it's essentially the same. It's the fact is up in the polar regions, the sun hasn't been out for weeks now. And it's snow covered, ice covered. And the cold air just sits there and grows and grows and gets colder and colder. And every once in a while, it has an impetus to push it down into the middle latitudes. Thus, we call it the polar vortex, making a visit here to the United States. The, the idea, though, that we're losing, what, something in the neighborhood of about 40 degrees of temperature in one day. And it's not just us. You talk to, you know, family or friends in Florida, they're going through the same thing. Of course, they're going from 80 to 40. We're going from 40 to maybe one. Are, is, is this pattern much more unusual than we've seen in even some so-called volatile years? No, we've, we've seen this a number of times before, but it's certainly not something we see uh, every winter. We saw it back in December, where in a several day time period, there was one place in Northwest Jersey that went from minus one to 64 degrees. So we've, it's just been a year where we've had these wild extremes instead of more moderation. And as I said, we don't know exactly the reason behind that, um, but we've certainly seen this pattern for some time now. Does this pattern, David, tell us anything about where, not only where we are, but where we're going for the rest of this winter? I wish I could tell you it is. It looks like it's actually going to catch, uh, climate system's going to catch it, uh, its breath a little bit next week. Uh, the 6 to 10, 8 to 14 day outlooks for the middle of this month called for mild conditions with a pretty high certainty. So it looks like we're going to have a week to 10 day break. Then what we go into next, it could be this active progressive system uh, or pattern again, but it could be one of blocking where we get stuck in cold air for several weeks or mild air. We simply don't know at this point. As a climatologist, you deal with long range issues. A lot of people look at this and say, look how cold it is. It, it proves that uh, climate change just isn't right. Uh, others say, look, it proves that climate change is right because our weather is volatile. What do you say? Goodness, well, we, we, we know the climate's changing, um, but in any particular location, even in North America, it doesn't dictate what the whole world is telling us. For instance, we are cool in North America in November, and November was the warmest November on record globally. So you have to look globally. You can't look locally or even regionally to get a handle on what's going on around the entire planet. And then, of course, you have to look over a number of years. Climatologists have to be patient. You can't just look at one episode and ascribe it to anything in a positive or negative sense when you're talking about global climate change. All right, David Robinson, state climatologist. Always a pleasure. We appreciate your insight. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure.